For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a full skein of Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the color Pumpkin Spice. As for tools, a 4 and a 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. And we're using four stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 4mm hook, and start off by making a chain that can wrap around your head. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 80, and that comes out to 20 inches or 51 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is connect it into the first chain that we made. So all we're going to do is run our thumb along one side of our chain, making sure that it's not twisted. And once we make our way over to this first chain, we're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. And then once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of three because we're going to be going in with a row of double crochet around the entirety of our chain. So once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. Once we get here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then just go all the way around putting one double crochet into every loop that we have, if I can. And yeah, go ahead and go all the way around putting one double crochet into every loop. I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we have made it all the way around with our first row of double crochets. Once when we get to this point, we're going to slip stitch into that third chain that we made when we first did our chain up of three to get to this row. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through with a slip stitch, and then from here we're actually going to need to insert our stitch markers into some spots. Alrighty, so this is our collar so far. We are going to need to put in some stitch markers, and those stitch markers is actually going to be placed right where our shoulders are going to be. So where our hook currently is, this is going to be the middle of our top. So the easiest way to figure out where the sides are is just figure out the middle point from where we're currently at versus the other side, and then from here to that middle point that we just found, find the middle point between that, which is right here. So, if you guys did the chain out of 80, just like how I did, in each direction, you're gonna count out 20 and then insert your stitch markers. If you guys did a number that's other than 80, then go ahead and figure out yours, and then now we can go in with some front and back post double crochets. So what we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of three. That counts as our double crochet, and then once when we have that, we're first going to go in with a front post double crochet. It's going to be super easy. We're going to yarn over just like how we would if we're doing a regular double crochet. And then into this next double crochet, we would typically be going into this top loop. But we're actually going to be going in through the post. I'm using air quotes in case you guys couldn't tell. But we're going to be going into that post. So basically this long portion that is the, I guess, stem of our double crochet. We're going to be inserting our hook behind that and then through the other side. And then once when we get here, we're going to continue on double crocheting just like normal. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first front post double crochet. Now we're gonna do a back post, which is the same thing, but we're going in through the back. So we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, and then now we're gonna be inserting our hook behind our work, but in between that first front post and then this next double crochet that we have, so bring it up through this way and then over that double crochet and then through the back. And then this is what it should look like. It's a little confusing looking if you're looking at it like this. But once when we're here, we're going to yarn over, pull through that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have a front and a back post double crochet. And we're just going to do this together one more time just to make sure that everyone got it down. But once we get here, we're going to be alternating between front and back post again. So prepare for double crochet go into that double crochet with a front post double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, you got it, let's do one more. We're gonna prepare for a double crochet, go in through that back post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then that is basically the pattern. We're just gonna keep doing this all the way down until we get to our stitch marker post and then we'll be doing an increase into there together. 
All right, so we have made it all the way down to our first stitch marker, and now we're gonna be doing the next corresponding stitches post, and we're gonna be doing an increase of two. Sorry if that made no sense, it's a lot of words. But once when we get here, as you guys can see, the last post that I did was a front post double crochet, so now I'm gonna be going in with an increase of two back post double crochets, but if yours is reversed, if you guys need to be going in with an increase of two with front post double crochets, totally fine. But once when we do get here, we're going to take out the stitch marker, but don't put them too far because we're going to need to put them back in two seconds. We're going to prepare for a double crochet, and I will be going in through that back post with one back post double crochet, and then do that one more time. Prepare, go in through that back post again, with another back post double crochet, and then from here, we're going to insert our hook, not in through the top loops, but actually just in through this little gap that we have in between these two double crochets, just to indicate that this loop is on one side and then this other loop is on the other. So just in between right here, and that's gonna be our separator. Once when we have that, we're going to continue on with our pattern. So I will be going in with one front post double crochet, a back post, and then keep doing that all the way down. And then the same thing that we just did here, so an increase of whatever post we have, once we get to this other stitch marker, and then insert that stitch marker in between those two posts, and then work your way back, and then we'll connect with a slip stitch together, and then we can get started on the rest. Alrighty, so we are all back with our second row, and our first row of front and back post double crochets. And once we get here, we're going to be slip stitching into that chain up of three, just like how we did before. So count up three chains, insert with a slip stitch. Once when we get here, we're going to be switching out our hook from our four millimeter hook over to our six, and now we're gonna start working into the body portion, but do not put your four millimeter hook away because we will be going into the bottom border along with the same time as we're going in with the body. So a little bit different, so we're trying some new. But once when we get here, you guys are gonna to want to try this collar on and then figure out the length that you guys want for your body portion. Let me look at my notes. I'm going to make a chain that comes out to 55 and that is a total of 15 inches or 38 centimeters. But keeping in mind, we will be going in with a bottom border at the same time. I'll let you guys know the number count once when we get there, but go ahead and make whatever chain you guys have and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back with the length of the body portion. With our six millimeter hook, from here, we're going to just take this guy out. Don't put him too far, because we're gonna be switching him back. But we're gonna grab our four millimeter hook, insert that onto our work. And then now we're gonna make a chain of whatever length we want our bottom border to be. So I'm gonna make a chain of seven, and that comes out to about an inch and a half or four centimeters. And then also get a stitch marker ready, because once when we go in with our chain, we're gonna go back and then insert our stitch marker into there, just so we can see and make sure every time we go in with our next row, that we're going into the right loops when we go in with our bottom border. So I'm gonna start off by making my chain of seven, which is my bottom border. Once when I have my seven, I'm going to be taking my stitch marker and inserting it into that first loop that I made with this four millimeter hook. I was gonna say category four, four millimeter hook. Once when we have that, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one and then into That first loop that we have, we're gonna be going in with a single crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then from here, we're just gonna put one single crochet into every loop going all the way up until we hit our stitch marker. So I made a chain out of seven for my bottom border. So I should end up with seven single crochets. So let's just stick with each other really quickly. There's one, two, three, four, And then seven right here. So I now have my bottom border all finished up. From here, I'm going to be switching out our work again. So take out your four millimeter hook, grab your six millimeter hook, and then from here, all the way up to the base of the collar, we're gonna be going in with more single crochets, but with our six millimeter. So into that next available loop, just go in with a single crochet. And then keep doing this all the way down. Once we hit our collar, I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect it together. 
and then we're going to be doing a half double crochet row right after this so i'll meet you guys back so we can get started on that so we have just made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochets once we have gotten down to our collar what we're going to do is slip stitch into that next available loop to close off this row so we're going to insert our hook into that loop we're going to yarn over pull through everything once when we have that we're going to be alternating between single crochets and half double crochets so into the next two loops we're going to be working our way up to our half double crochet row so we're going to be slip stitching into the next two loops so there's one and then there's two from here we're going to flip our work we're going to prepare for a half double and then we're going to be going in through the back loops for every row after this so into this first back loop we're going to insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three that is our half double and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we hit our stitch marker where our bottom border is going to start and then we're going to be doing more back loop half doubles but that's going to be with our four millimeter hook so let's go ahead and do back loop half doubles going all the way back down and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can switch out our hook just so y'all can one remember and two see what it's actually going to look like we've done our back loop half double crochets all the way down until we've hit our stitch marker and i have seven loops left so now i'm going to be switching out my six millimeter hook for my four inserting that into my work and we're going to finish off this row by continuing our back loop half double crochets but with my four millimeter hook so we're going to prepare insert into that next back loop with half doubles and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into but we will stick with each other because we are pretty close to the end if i can get enough yarn so i don't know how many that is two maybe three <laughs> four all right so we have just made it down to the end of our half double crochet row which is our second row once we get here we're going to be working our way up to our base we're going to do a chain up of one flip our work and now we're going to be doing back loop single crochets so same rules apply i have seven stitches for my bottom border so i'm going to be going in with seven back loop single crochets and you guys go ahead and adjust for whatever number loops you guys have for your bottom border but i'm going to go in with a back loop single crochet into the next seven so there's one two three four five six one more for me seven and then once when we get here we're going to be switching out for our six again and then continue going all the way up with back loop single crochets but with our six i'll meet you guys back so that we can go into the collar with each other just one more time and then from there the remainder of this section is going to be pretty much the same so you guys can just have at it from there but i'll let you guys know what we're going to do into the next clip all right so we are back we have made our way all the way up to our collar we're going to connect into the collar again and we're going to start up the next row just to show you guys one more time and then we're going to talk about this just a little bit so into this next available loop we're going to be going into there with a slip stitch to close off this single crochet row and then in order to work our way up to the next row we're going to be slip stitching up the next two loops because our next row is a half double crochet row from here we're going to flip our work and putting one back loop half double crochet into every loop that we have until we get down to the bottom then we're going to continue doing back loop half double crochets but we will be switching out for our four and then the rest of the pattern is going to remain the same from here and we're actually just going to keep going back and forth with our pattern as you guys can see i have a couple rows already i had to come back to readjust some things i told you in a previous clip that is now cut but we're actually just going to keep going back and forth with our pattern just like this until we get about two inches right before we hit our stitch marker which is in the corner of our collar and then from there we're going to do a little single crochet row and then chain out from where the stitch marker is and that's going to make our sleeve and then from there we're going to be doing body and sleeve at the same time because it's all going to be made into one big piece so go ahead and do that and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on our sleeve Alrighty, so we are back and this is what things are looking like so far we have done our back loop singles and back loop half doubles going all the way down until we have just two inches in between our work and where our stitch marker is and then from here we're actually just going to go all the way up single crochet across these few loops that we have right here and then make a chain for our sleeve so if you guys have ended on the bottom go ahead and just do your regular single crochet row going all the way back up and then 
meet me back up here but if you guys are up here then what we're going to do from here is we are going to slip stitch into the next available loop that we have into our base which is what we've been doing but then from here down to where we have our stitch marker we're going to be doing single crochets because this is what we're going to be going into until we hit our underarm portion and then we're just going to kind of keep going from there but once when we get to this point let's do single crochets until we get to our stitch marker so it'll be fairly simple just go all the way down so once when we have done our single crochets going all the way across our base until we get to our stitch marker now we're going to make a super duper long chain for our sleeve so you guys can keep it as a short sleeve long sleeve three quarter length whatever you guys want i'm going to have a weird hybrid between a short sleeve and a three quarter length sleeve so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 17 inches, but please keep in mind that we are going to be doing the same thing that we did here for the bottom border. And yep, so I'm going to make my chain of 17 inches or 42 centimeters. In the next clip, I'll let you guys know how many chains that is, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so I'm back with my sleeve chain, and just to let you guys know, I made a total of 60 chains. And then from here, we are going to be switching out for our four millimeter hook again. And I will end up having the same amount of loops for my bottom border. So I'm going to insert my four millimeter hook and go in with seven chains right after this. But you guys can go ahead and adjust it for whatever you guys want. But I'm going to go in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to grab a stitch marker and then insert it into that loop that we just blocked off right before we started doing our chain with our four millimeter hook. And then from here, since the last row that we did into the body portion was a row of back loop single crochets, we're going to start off by going in with back loop half doubles. So we're going to block off that last chain. We're going to go up with one, two, prepare for a half double, go into that loop that we blocked off or the third one from our hook with a half double, and then go ahead and go all the way down with half doubles. And from here, we're just going to keep going down with our half doubles, including going into the collar portion that we have right here, going all the way down to the body. We're going to switch out where it's necessary, and then we're going to work our way back up with single crochets. And then we'll meet each other back once when we get into this collar portion, because we're going to have to do some decreases. Once we made our way over to this collar portion, we're going to start going into the back loops again because this is going to be working straight into the body and we want everything to match up. So go ahead and do the same pattern, but now we're going in through the back loops. And then like I said before, I'll meet you guys back once we work our way up and then we're back at this collar portion. All right, so we are back and we have just done a row of single crochet that comes all the way back up and we are at our collar portion right here. And we're actually just going to be doing two decreases into here and then continuing on with the rest of the pattern. So once we get here, we're going to be inserting our hook into the first back loop that we have into the collar portion. We're going to insert, pull through, and then also into the loop right after that. Insert, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And then from here, we're going to be putting one back loop single crochet until we get to right where this actually starts to go into the sleeve. And this is going to be a different number count for everyone, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. A couple back loop single crochets. And then once when we get here, we're going to be doing another decrease. So two decreases into the two corner portions that we have into our collar portion. So insert, pull through, into the next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then from here, the rest of the pattern is going to remain the same. So do back loop single crochets going all the way down our sleeve portion. Once we make our way down there, we're going to be switching out our hook for our four just to finish off the cuff and then work our way back with back loop half doubles. But when we're going in with our back loop half double crochet row, we actually aren't going to be doing anything into the collar portion. We're just going to go all the way down with back loop half doubles, work our way back up with back loop singles and then decrease into the collar portion. And that's actually going to be the remainder of our pattern. So I'm just going to do this one more time with you guys because it's pretty simple. I'm going to work my way down, finish up this single crochet row that I'm doing, work my way down the other way with back loop half doubles, and then work my way back up so that we can do another decrease into the collar portion together. And then I'll just kind of let you guys have at it. But yeah, go ahead and do all that, and then I'll meet you guys back. 
Okay, so we have made our way back with our back loop single crochet row and we are back at the collar. We're gonna be doing our decreases together one more time and then I'll talk you guys through the rest and then we will move on from there. But we will be doing our decreases first. So into, that's my chair, sorry. But once when we get here, we're gonna be inserting our hook in through this first loop, yarn over, pull through, into this next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're just gonna do back loop single crochets until we get to somewhere around here, which is where our sleeve meets our body portion. So just do a couple back loop single crochets. This doesn't necessarily need to be exact. Once when we get here, about, we're gonna be doing another decrease. So insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we should be working into our sleeve with more back loop single crochets. And let's just lay this down flat so that we can talk about this and then I'll let you guys go. Alrighty, so this is what our work is looking like. This probably isn't the best visual representation because it looks really weird, but this is what we're doing. So we've just done our decreases into our back loop single crochet rows right into the collar together. And then we're just gonna do more back loop single crochets all the way down, remembering that we will switch out for our four millimeter hook. And then we're gonna go back with back loop half doubles. Just remember that when we're going down with back loop half doubles, we will not be doing a decrease into those rows. Once we have that, we're gonna single crochet back up, doing back loop single crochets that is, and then decreasing into this collar portion and then working our way down. And we're just gonna keep going back and forth like that until this body portion can actually wrap and meet our mid underarm. So basically it's just gonna be one entire half of our piece. And a really quick tip, sorry, and a really quick tip, once when we get here, I know that we've been doing decreases just a couple loops away from each other, but they will eventually be two decreases next to each other and that's totally fine. But yeah, just keep going back and forth like this until you guys get the length that you guys need. And then I'll meet you guys back just to tell you how many rows I have and then how we're going to connect it into the other side together. So we are back and we have one entire half of our top all finished up. And just to let you guys know, I have a total of 30 rows. But once we have this, we're just gonna do the same thing that we did over here on the other side. And from here, I'm just gonna show you guys where we insert our hook. What we're gonna do is just take our six millimeter hook and then we're gonna be inserting it into this next available loop that we have into the collar. And then it's going to be the same pattern, but instead of going in with half double crochets, because that's what our row number two is, we're gonna be going in with a row of regular single crochets, not going in through the back loops for this first row. So we're going to insert, pull through that loop that we're into, and then go into that first loop that we have into the body with a single crochet. And then once when we get down here, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every loop, going back down our work while still maintaining our four millimeter hook along the bottom. Once we get to the end, we're gonna do a chain up of two, flip our work and do back loop half doubles. I'll meet you guys back once we get down here so that we can start up our half double crochet row together and then we'll also end it together. And then together we'll move on from there. So I've just made it down to the other end of our first row of our other side of our panel with single crochets. What we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then we're gonna go in with back loop half doubles. And we're only gonna be going in with back loop half doubles with our four millimeter hook until we get to the top of our bottom band. We're gonna be switching out to our six, and then we're gonna do more back loop half doubles going all the way up towards the collar. Then I'll meet you guys up once we get to the collar so we can attach it, and then we will move on from there. And we've made our way all the way up towards our collar with our back loop half double crochets and we're just going to connect it into the collar together and then from there we're just going to have at it so we're going to be counting up the next two available loops that we have into our collar we're going to count up one and two insert your hook into that second loop with a slip stitch to close off this row and then our next row is going to be a row of back loop singles so we're going to slip stitch up the next available loop flip our work and then go in with back loop singles. And then we're gonna keep doing this until we have the same amount of rows that we did right here, right before we started going in with our sleeve. So I'm gonna keep going until I have a total of eight rows and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the sleeve together even though it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Okay, so really quickly we are back and we're just about ready to go in with the sleeve on this other side that we have. But the difference is since we started our row off 
up here instead of down here with our row one, our eighth row or whatever row we end up on is actually gonna be on the opposite side from where our last row ended here right before we went in with our sleeve. So just as an example, I went in with eight rows and then I actually ended at the bottom. And then once we had that, we could have just gone all the way up with back loop single crochets and then went in with our chain, which is what we did. But now that I'm on this side, I have my eight rows and I end up here. So what we're gonna do is do a chain up of one in cut and we're gonna attach it to the bottom side just so that everything can be even on both sides. So since I ended here, we are going to do a chain up of one and we're gonna cut our work and then we're gonna reattach our yarn onto the bottom. So go ahead and grab your four millimeter hook and I'll meet you guys at the bottom right here. But well, once when we get here, we're just gonna be inserting our hook in through this back loop. And then we're gonna work our way back up with back loop single crochets, switching out our hooks just like how we normally would. And then we're gonna do the rest of this just like normal. So we're gonna pull through to a chain up of one and then do back loop single crochets. And then this is going to look just a smidge bit different than the body portion, but not different enough to where we're going to find a big difference once when we wear it. But go ahead and just keep doing this. And then the rest of this is going to be just like how we did this sleeve. So go in with single crochets along this little chunk that we have until we reach our stitch marker, make a chain that is the same chain length that we have for this sleeve right here. And then we're going to be doing decreases into this little chunk that we have right here. We're going to be doing two of them into every single crochet row. So exactly the same thing that we have over here. Then once we have the same amount of rows, we're going to chain up a one and cut. And then this entire sequence that we just did here, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But I'll meet you guys back so that we can start that off together. So go ahead and get this sleeve done and then I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are now back. We have just finished doing one entire front panel of our top and we're actually just going to do the same exact thing that we did here but just along the rest of the collar that we have. So I'm basically just here to show you guys where to insert your hook, even though I'm sure you guys already know. Just insert your hook directly into the middle point that we have into this back half of the collar that we have that doesn't have anything into it. And then start off by making the same chain count and then move on from there. You guys are pretty much set. So go ahead and do that and then I will meet you guys back once when we have both sides all finished up. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with the second panel, which is exactly the same as the front panel. And we are pretty much all done. Just the last thing that we have to do is seam up our sides. So let's just get that started together. Getting started at either end, either the bottom band or the cuff, it does not matter. We're gonna start off with our four millimeter hook and we're gonna insert that into that bottom corner that we have. And through both sides, we're going to pull our yarn through and chain up one to secure. Once when we have this, we're just gonna go all the way down, making sure that our single crochet goes in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. So let's just get this started together into the first available loop into the front panel and then the next available loop into the back panel. Once when we have that, go ahead and single crochet. Let's do that one more time. Into the next available loop in the front, next available loop in the back, and then single crochet. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way up and around since we are underneath our underarm. We're gonna keep going until we don't have any more loops left to go into, just so just seaming up this entire piece. But once when we get to the body portion, which is our six millimeter hook, we will be switching that out as well. So go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys where we're gonna be inserting our hook for this top seam for the top of the shoulder and then we can move on from there. So we've just finished up seaming the bottoms and we're gonna do the exact same thing up here at the top. And the only thing that I have to remind you guys of is once when you guys insert your six millimeter hook into these loops that's right next to the collar, make sure that you guys are going into the loop that's right before this first loop into our chain that we made. And we're only doing that so that we don't have any gaps in between the collar and our sleeves. So as you guys can see, this is my first loop here, first loop here. I went into the loops right before that. And from here, insert, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, continue doing single crochets, making sure we're going into the front panel and the back panel at the same time. And then once we get down to the cuff, go ahead and switch out for your four millimeter hook. And then once we get down there, go ahead and cut and tie and then do the same thing on the other side, just making sure that our seams are all facing the same direction. And now that we have seamed up our sleeves on both sides, we are actually all done. The last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends and this is our sweater all finished up. 
We wanted to do a modern take on an everyday, easy, casual sweater that wasn't a raglan, and this is it. And I am so happy with how this turned out. It is super cute, trendy, and it will never go out of style. And if y'all want to grab the pattern, it's down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us how you first ran into the channel and what made you subscribe. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you liked about it, but if you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, but let me know how we can improve. And if you love it, be sure to hit that bell so you know when there's new uploads for you. And also, be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. If you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel, links to our Poshmark, Depop, and Etsy are down there too, along with the tools used. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.